Sadly, we are getting to the end of the 2022 fishing season, but you can still get on some bottom fishing action from a party or a charter boat, or you can hit one of the many freshwater ponds or streams across the island. I have some holiday gift ideas for the angle in your life. Stick around for the latest from this week's weekly video fishing forecast. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Today is December 15th. I want to remind you that the Glossy December issue has the holiday gift guide with all kinds of ideas for the angler in your life. Or maybe you leave the magazine out so that special person in your life will flip through the pages and you'll find some great fishing gear under the tree. Of course, a subscription to the Fisherman magazine makes a great gift as well. $29.95, get to 12 Glossy print issues and all the weekly digital content plus full access to the website, and best of all, you can compete in our Dreamboat and Coastal Kayak Clash contest. Next week, the big January Boat Buyer's Guide issue is out, so you don't want to miss that either. Don't forget this video is available as a podcast on iTunes and Google Podcasts. Search for the Fisherman Magazine podcast and subscribe so you can listen to the broadcast and other content. Your local tackle shop is a great place to shop this time of the year, so I stopped by J&J Tackle and Patrick for some gift ideas. So hey, here at the Fisherman Magazine, we're big on covering local tackle shops, supporting local, all that good stuff. And while it's the holiday time of the year, Christmas is coming up, and you know it's that time of year where people go out and buy gifts for that angle that you know in your life. So we came up to J and J Sports in Patchog, and they had a lot of good gift ideas that maybe you guys would be interested in buying for something that you know that fishes as well. So to start it off, brand new from Penn, we actually covered this reel at ICAST, the Penn Authority. Comes in many different sizes. This is a high-end reel from Penn. Uh, I know a few people who actually got to play with these reels already. Very happy with it. High-end reel would make a great gift for an angle that you know. Uh, moving on, if you know a surf caster in your life, um, handling fish, stripers, bluefish, unhooking your fish, you want to weigh your fish, why not a boga grip? I've been using these ever since I started surf casting. Again, not even just for weighing fish, but also for handling a bluefish, a striped bass. You know, you don't want to get a hook in your finger. It's more of a handling tool than even a weighing tool, but it does weigh as well. This is a 30-pound model. They come up to a 60-pound model as well. They have them stocked up here at J&J Sports. Excellent surf casting tool for that surf caster that you know in your life. Also, we have Connecticut State Park. We have all the, the rivers, the streams along the island. If you want to get into fly fishing, if you know somebody that's interested in fly fishing, you've read a, a fly fishing article in the Fisherman Magazine, watch the fly fishing video. Down here at J&J Sports, they have a couple different fly rod combos. Now, one of the higher end combos they have, these combos come with the, the rod reel line and the case, the stone fly fly fishing combo from Maxon Outfitters. Pick it up and you're ready to go. Just add some flies, which they have here too, and you're out the door and you can go to Connect One and catch plenty of trout all winter yourself. Now, if you don't want to spend the money on the stone fly, we're going to move on over to the Timberhawk. So uh, a little less, it's, I think it's about 100 or so dollars less than the stone fly combo, but again, everything you need, the only difference is you don't get the hard case, you get the soft case. Uh, one step down, if you want to you know, get your feet wet with fly fishing, Check out the Timberhawk combo from Max and Outfitters down here at J&J Sports. If you do plan on going ice fishing this year, a something that a necessity is the six inch auger. You're gonna need this to drill your ice holes. They also have this down here at J&J and Patchogue. So if you wanna try ice fishing this year, check this out. Buy this for the angler that you know as a gift. Check it out guys. J&J Sports has a great selection of gifts for the holiday season. Come check that out in Patchogue. Let's take a look at the map and I'll give you a rundown of what's going on. Out west, some stripers were still being caught from the boats off Jones Beach and to the west near Deb's Inlet. A couple of slots were mixed in too. Remember, the striper season closes today, but you can still catch and release them through the winter. On the wrecks, the shallow pieces are starting to see less action as the water gets colder, but some of the deeper wrecks, about 100 feet of water, are starting to produce better tog fishing. Deeper wrecks from 150 to 200 feet have been yielding some jumbo sea bass and pollock. Centrally, it has gotten rather quiet, but I did know that Laura Lee is still togging out of capture on the ocean pieces. Again, the 100-foot wrecks were a better bet in recent days. We're also starting to transition into the freshwater time of the year. I heard Connecticut State Park was hot for fly fishing rainbow and brook trout, while the tidal creeks south of it were producing rainbows and browns. 
white perch are also start, starting to be picked away out in the tidal rivers. Out east, those Montauk charter and party boats like the Viking, My Joyce, and Ebb Tide were still heading to Block Island waters for a mix of sea bass, cod, and pollock. I also did hear some Southampton tidal creeks were producing, and they were a good bet for white perch. Not much on North Shore Herring last week, but after talking to Jim from Miller Plays Bait and Tackle, he mentioned some stripers were still being caught in Mount Sinai Harbor. Blaze from Duffy's in Glen Cove said some surf casters had stripers out of Matinecock Point last week also. From Sag Harbor, we are Will and Andy. Thanks, Matt. Report this week out of Sag Harbor. Things are starting to slow down as, as we move into winter. Uh, bottom fishing has still actually been pretty good for you know people who have been, managed to get out there. Uh, cod, sea bass, and, and blackfish still all in play when obviously the weather permits. Um, so hopefully that continues to go strong. From Shinnecock, let's check in with Mike Dean. Thanks, Matt. Hey, everyone. Well, uh, surf casting wise, not a whole lot happening, obviously, this late in the year. Um, but, you know, one of those really sunny days and uh, no wind. I'll be happy to go out there and try to pull a few resident schoolies out from. Uh, the open beach you know kind of near the jetties and uh so we'll see if that happens if it doesn't it was a great season even though the the uh november was was a little slow but overall great fishing season between the run of blues in the spring and you know pretty steady big bass that stuck around for a little while longer than usual out front so um overall it was good and uh just always great to fish awesome to have met so many people that watch the video or just kind of know from Instagram or Facebook to uh, to meet up in real life and to um, be sharing a tie with. So that was very cool. Still some fishing going on. Uh, Hampton ladies still doing blackfish trips and wreck trips. So a lot of sea bass and cod. Um, you know, still a little bit left to the blackfish season. So uh, if you're into that, you know, get on out there. King Cod and Mariches still going out. A couple of the boats in Montauk. So there's definitely, you know, some fishing going on if you really need to, you know, get that, uh, scratch that itch and, um, you know, time to kind of clean up the mess a little bit that got, gets even messier during the season. So um, anyway, so that's it for now. I'm sure I'll have something to report back in the next couple of weeks. Talk to you soon. Back to you, Matt. From Northport, we have Cal Harbor Bait and Tackle. Well, if you've been looking for that opportunity to pickle some herring for the holidays, now's your time to get out there and enjoy. The weather's been beautiful out. It's been fairly, uh, you know, chilly, but it's crisp and beautiful during the day. Lots of sun. Uh, freshwater scene is really nice. Uh, there's so much to do out here on Long Island. There's so much to do to get out of your house and stay active and keep healthy. It's really important to keep our bodies healthy so that we can enjoy the following season. You know, as far as holiday gift ideas go, uh, Cal Harbor, we've got custom bogas. We do a lot of stuff like pliers, custom rods. We've got a beautiful reel service department. Phil does a dynamic job fixing and repairing and servicing reels, and the prices are fantastic. Um, come on down, get a gift certificate. Give it to someone you love or a friend, and uh, it's a great way to support the shop. We love putting these reports together for you, and it's a great way to give back to our family business, you know, and then um, we're open all year, and we love seeing people come by and say, hey, I'd love to see you on the fisherman reports and stuff, and uh, just want to say thank you. Until next week, I bid you all peace and tight lines. From the Fire Island area in Great South Bay, let's check in with Captain Al Lorenzetti. Hey, Matt. Fire Island fishing report. This is kind of slow, really slow. Uh, striped bass season is basically done. Blackfish is going to close next week. Uh, there's a couple of fish on the outside, but that's about inside. It is pr the water is just way too cold. I fished last week and didn't catch anything but dogfish on the inside. So, uh, you know, that's it. Some striped bass in the ocean to the west, maybe catch and release. And on the outside pieces, maybe some blackfish. And that's about it. And I just want to mention, you know, for Christmas season coming up, Stocking stuffers and, and stuff, you know, for your loved ones, any kind of presents from inexpensive stuff to expensive, a couple of good products. I use this pen rod and reel cleaner. It's excellent, spray it down, wipe it down, and it really keeps the dirt from building up, keeps it nice and clean. Another my, one of my favorites is this line cutter. Uh, very inexpensive, it'll cut uh, braid and mono. And of course, one of my go-to items on the boat uh, long handle, long needle nose pliers with a cutter for getting hooks that are deep down in a fish. Uh, and these are some products that are available in all your tackle shops. So 
get out there, pick up some goodies, and we wish you all a Merry Christmas. With our fly and freshwater report, we have Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello, Matt. Well, here I am. I went up to the Salmon River. I didn't have any luck. I, it was a great time. I had a great time, but I didn't have any luck. And so I decided, you know what, to feel more like a, a fisherman, I got to come to the Connect and try to catch some of these big fish that are here. And I'm the, over here, and I'm actually working on practicing my uh, nymphing because um, that's what I, do, I like to do in the wintertime and get back into it. You get a little rusty. I will tell you, uh, Tim brought his son Jackson and Jackson's friend Leo out here last weekend and batter day. It's good to see smiles on young boys. It really is. Uh, all I gotta tell you, Jackson and Leo, don't get messed up with girls unless they fish. <laughs> unless they fish, then they're okay. But uh, we, I'm out here and I'll send photographs if I'm successful. I really, I th I'm sure I will be. It's, it's a great place to come. Good place in the winter time. Um, white perch now are in the creeks. So if you want to get out there, fish for white perch, that's a good time to do this. Uh, we are getting into it. Uh, listen, I want to say thank, thank you to everybody at the Fishman Magazine. I also like to wish everybody a happy New Year's. I also wish everybody a happy and holidays. And I hope we all have a great time, great season. And uh, let me get into these fish. So until uh, next week, tie lines, everybody. From the Rockaways, we have Chris Landry. Chris. Thanks, Matt. Well, the fat lady is singing, and it's a wrap. Striper season is closed December 15th here in New York. And the last several times I went out, I got skunked anyway out on the jetties in Rockaway. Bay Original has been out braving the night and the cold uh, for some schoolies. So they are still out there, but you got to suffer to get them. Um, a sperm whale uh, uh, beached itself here in Rockaway um, and uh, surfers and first responders unsuccessfully tried to save it. So RIP to that sperm whale. Um, you can still go out for fish on charters like Rockfish until December 22nd uh, if you want to get on some blackfish also on charters such as uh, Gypsy for, on the party boats. Um, I also have been hearing reports of thresher sharks, like giant thresher sharks. So we heard many reports on the radio last week and uh, rockfish did hook up on one. I'm not sure why they're here, but if you want to go hunting for ghosts or thresher sharks, uh, they are out there. Along the East River uh, this week, uh, people have been getting schoolies. Uh, Carl Newman got a bunch of them. Uh, Mike from Frank's Fish Club has been getting them on at his not so secret spot. Uh, always a bunch of schoolies, but there are occasional cows there, and they seem to uh, stay there throughout the cold. Uh, so uh, one recommendation is over the winter: clean your gear and take down the drag on, on your reel so it's not pressing so hard all, all winter long. Um, you know, good time to organize. Uh, your lures, I know I have a, a mess of lures and tackle. So uh, I'll be uh, doing some of that and taking some trips down to Miami and maybe a, a ghost hunting trip here or there. Other than that, what a year it's been. Many people saying the best year ever. Uh, so it was awesome. Thank you for listening and everyone that followed me on social media. Tight lines, everybody. Stay warm and back to you, Matt. Lastly, we check in with Captain Ben Gilmore from Marina Pesvela down in Costa Rica. Hey there, guys. This is Ben Gilmore checking in from Costa Rica and the Marina Pesvela. The December bite down here in Costa Rica is just insane. We just returned from a full day offshore fishing trip today. We caught one of the biggest sailfish I've ever seen. It was about 120 pounds and measured 108 inches. Just amazing stuff for our anglers from Utah. Today we also had five tuna and two big dorados. Fishing is on fire. The dorados and tuna fishing this month has been insane. Lots and lots of fish. Dorados in the 20 to 30 pound range. Tunas in the 20 to 50 pound range. There's blue marlin, striped marlin and sailfish out there also, as well as rooster fish and snook inshore. We'd love to see you guys down here this winter. Give us a call, Ben Gilmore, Jackpot Sport Fishing. Back to you guys. 
Check out this video description on YouTube for all the related links and index for specific reports. Please support our correspondents by visiting their websites and social media pages. Let's hope we get a break from the wind and the cold this weekend before the season comes to a close. We'll see you right here next week at thefisherman.com.